Here is a super easy way to find stocks in play as a day trader using the stock screening feature on TradingView. Inside the TradingView desktop, we're going to go to screeners for stocks. Now there's four things we have to change in here to get to the stocks that we wanna have in play. If we click filters here, the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and click on just common stock. So we're just looking at stocks, you're not ETFs or index funds, anything like that. The next thing we wanna do is look at the volume because the volume will indicate that there's enough shares being traded to make the liquidity high enough for a breakout to actually be profitable for us. We can get in and out of our positions if we want to as a day trader. We're gonna jack this up to a million shares Make sure that there's enough volume and activity. Next up is relative volume, which is hugely important because it is a predecessor of a breakout is, ex is extended volume. And we want to put this at two, which tells us that the stock is trading at two times what it normally is in terms of shares traded over the past 10 days. It's usually calculated at. So relative volume is another one. And then finally, we want to narrow down our price action on this because we don't want to be trading everything that's kind of really, really cheap. We don't think trading that's everything too high. It's going to depend on your account size. But for this exercise, we're going to go 20 to $100 per share. And once these are set, you go into your filters here and you have your stocks listed out there. We're just going to add one more thing on the top to make sure we did it right. And that is relative volume. Pop that in there and we can see that it is in as well. So we have our price, we have our volume, we have a relative volume, and we have just stocks here listed. We're going to go and filter by price to see the cheapest to the highest. Now this is great but it doesn't get us to where we need to be in terms of being able to day trade these stocks with confidence. This is a great starting point. But for the next step, we have to go and start building a watch list and looking at the charts for these companies and do that quickly. Here's how we do it. We can go up to the top right and click on our little watch list here, open up, create new list and go day traders, click save. We're gonna click on the top one here, shift click to the bottom, right click, add all to selected watch list. Boom, they are in the watch list now. We can go in and start opening up trading charts when we go into this. So we open up our chart. Let's go to the first one here. Let's go to IAA. And what we can see is that we have a stock that is increasing in volume, which we were going to know anyway, because we have the relative volume set to two. So that volume bar is always going to be there. If we did this correctly, if we go through any of these charts, there's going to be a large spike in volume. You can see it there. And there again, the volume is increasing, right? When the trend is about to happen, you get these volume bars stepping up and increasing just like this. And then once a trend is in place, an increasing or kind of stable level of volume down here is what sustains that trend as you go through an actual breakout happens. So now we have to look at these charts and figure out our technical analysis of what's going to happen next. And let's start again with IAA and let's see what's going on here in terms of a potential breakout. So we can see that's kind of been shooting along with to figure out a way to kind of highlight the support and resistance levels to understand it's a key breaker. We're not just gonna jump in and trade this stock right now. We need to understand that there's probably an area of support right here. We've seen it touch one, two, three, four times. So probably gonna draw a line right out there. Leave a little higher. Boom, right there. Okay, 37. Let's move that up just a little bit higher. Right to the end, underside of this candle where the massive volume spike was. So it's been touched one, two, three times there, four, five, six, almost seven times in the last few months. So we know it's a great area for a floor. Let's look at a ceiling now. We can see that it's kind of made a ceiling here, but the ultimate kind of high point recently was right about there. That's going to be the ultimate ceiling. So now that we've seen that this candlestick has basically engulfed the other one and there's been some sustained volume here. It is starting to sustain. This is going to be moving on a kind of news element right there, but the RSI is trending up. We have an area right there. If you wanted to go ahead and trade this stock, you'd be looking to get in after it breaks a main kind of area of resistance right around this area right here where it is kind of touched. So it's going to have to sustain this for one more day. So you don't want to just jump in and trade this stock just because the setup is nice right now. You want to understand it needs to break above this 41.50 on the next trading day. And to do this, we need to set an alert to remind ourselves to check in if it does go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and go to 41.50. I'm going to right click. We're going to add an alert and it's going to say 41.81. We're going to go down to 41.55, let's say. A little breakout only once. And if it crosses over, we're good. We're going to create that. It's going to show up on our chart. And now we have a little breakout sign there. If we zoom in, we can see it and open this up. That orange dotted line is our breakout. So once that happens, we'll get an alert as our trading advice will alert us. And then we'll go see and check it out, rehash the chart, see what's going on, and then make our decision to trade from there. Doing this again in another stock, another example here, let's go up to SSB. This one's on a negative 
decline. So the trend is negative in this case. We can go negative or positive. We make money both ways day trading. What we're going to look for here, again, is the same kind of thing. Local support and resistance on the daily candlestick chart. And we can see a huge resistance on this bottom end right here. If we go back out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. It hasn't been touched in a long time, all the way back to there. So we have to set the floor right now at that level, that $71 level. The upside, the top range recently, we're going to set it right here at this candlestick. And then we have to set some intermediate points here as well before we're going to go ahead and get any kind of data on what we want to trade. Right, we're going to look for these support areas again on this chart. And right now, if we're down here and we want this to move a little bit lower, we know we're going to have to get back down to that 71 range. If we think this maybe moves higher, we need it to break out. First of all, there's a lot of support where it's kind of at right now, but right about here, it kind of consolidated for a little bit, broke out, brought back down, consolidated for a bit. So that's an area where it's going to have some price action, I would think, right around here, right around that 76 and change mark. We're going to put a post right there. 76 right there. So if it breaks above that, there's a chance with added volume that this could get back and be a player on the upside. If it hits there and it breaks back to the low side, I'd be looking for it to break down below the current close right here on this candle with some added volume right around there at that mark of 74, 72, maybe even a little bit lower to take in this account right here, this candle. So we're going to go right about there, 74, 41, let's call it. And we're going to add an alert there as well. 74, 41. So if it does break through there, we have that alert set that if it does drop below that, then we have an idea to come back to this chart and understand the price has good volume. It's got sustained volume. It's in a trend in one direction. We have our exit point down here. We have our entry point potentially at 7441. And that's how you can set up this trading stock screener on trading you to give you the best chance to identify breakout targets for day trading. You've got volume, you've got relative volume, you've got price action, you've got sustained runs. Use it to your advantage. Hopefully go make some money.